What's up guys? Today I have this product called Quick Covers from OAM Original Appearance Manufacturing. They are made in Ames, Iowa, so right here in the US. Uh, none of that China crap. And they are a rocker panel and cab corner replacement alternative, I'd call them. So if, you live, if you're like me, you live in Iowa or anywhere in the Midwest, Canada, anywhere that it snows and you get salt on the roads, you probably have rusted out rocker panels and cab corners. Especially if you're like me and have a Silverado, cat eye Silverado, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So these, they're kind of unique. They are a more affordable alternative than taking your truck to a body shop and having them do it for a couple thousand dollars and then probably having it redone a few years later when they rust out again. These are vacuum formed plastic. So it's a hard plastic, plastic doesn't rust in case you were wondering. And they are one piece with your rocker panel and your cab corner. And it's made to look just like your factory existing cab corner and rocker panel. So this version here is the paintable version. So you can go ahead and you can color match them to your truck. And uh, they also have a rugged version that's kind of more like a textured bed liner. Uh, and if that's the look you're going for, they look awesome. It's an awesome choice for you. It saves you from having to paint. So with these, I also went ahead and ordered their uh, cleaning and their adhesion primer kit. So that's gonna make it so we don't have to scuff this up with sandpaper at all before we shoot it with paint. It's gonna save us a lot of time, a lot of headaches, and it's gonna make sure that our, your paint would stick to it. With that, I also went ahead and ordered their Like 90 corrosion inhibitor spray. This is gonna go on the rust on the existing rockers to slow it down and stop it from eating through more and more while these are on your truck. So OAM recommended using both of these products, so we're gonna go ahead, use them, and try to get the, uh, the best look and best outcome from using these. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to apply the primer kit now, and then I'm gonna show you how we get them on the truck. All right, so the first step to priming your quick covers is gonna to be to blow them off with an air compressor, anything you got, just to get all the loose dust and any debris that might have gotten onto them during shipping off. Uh, I've already gone ahead and done that just because that's really loud to be on a video. And then you're gonna go ahead and use the uh, anti-static surface cleaner that they include in the kit and just completely wipe everything down. So Quick Covers does recommend you to mount these on a stand to do it, and then you can go ahead and paint and clear coat them on that stand as well. Uh, I don't have a stand here that will work for that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it on the box here on the table. So it's super important that you don't mount your Quick Covers uh, to your truck without them having some sort of protection on them. Uh, unless you get the textured ones which are ready to go out of the box. So there's no sort of uh, UV protectant in these. So over time they'll start to fade, lose their color, and they will get brittle from the sun, which is just the nature of plastic. So we're gonna go ahead, wipe these down, and then we'll move on to spraying the primer. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and hit these quick covers with the uh, adhesion primer that they offer on the OAM website. So like I said earlier, this is just gonna make sure that your paint sticks, you don't get any flakes. It's gonna protect them from the UV rays and uh, lengthen the life of the product. So uh, quick covers, or OAM does recommend you to use the instructions on the back of the can here. Uh, pretty typical instructions, shake the can and we're gonna apply two light coats with a five minute wait time in between each. All right guys. I've gone ahead and added two coats of the adhesion primer to these quick covers. So the can calls for a 60 minute drying period at 72 degrees, unless you can bake them. I can't, I'm not a body shop. So I'm gonna go ahead and let these sit for the next hour and dry. Then I'm gonna flip them over and add primer to the inside, since I have some left. The instructions from OAM weren't exactly clear whether or not you need to prime the insides, but if you're gonna be hitting them with paint, I would say just go ahead, prime both sides, hit both sides with paint, clear coat both sides, just to add an extra layer of protection to these covers. So in my case, I'm wrapping the entire truck, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap over the primer, so I'm not going to be hitting these with paint and clear coat.
All right, so I've gone ahead and let these covers dry for the 60 minutes that the primer called for. Uh, the next step is going to be to go ahead and apply the 3M double-sided adhesive that comes with the quick covers. So they also include these alcohol uh, wipe pads in the package so you can go ahead and wipe down the surface before you stick the tape to them. Uh, that's just going to make sure that the tape gets a nice solid stick and doesn't peel back up. All right, so the next step to installing your quick covers is gonna be going and trying to get all the dirt and rocks and crud and debris out of your existing rocker panels. So I went ahead and I power washed this out about a week ago, knowing that we were gonna start this process. Uh, and then I did it a second time a few days later and there's still dirt and mud up in there. So it's kind of hard to get all this stuff out of these. They have a tendency to wanna to just hold all that crud inside. Uh, so another thing is that with the quick covers being a plastic, you want to go and get all of this stuff bent back up. Uh, if any of that's bending out, it's going to leave it so it doesn't have such a factory look at the end and it can damage your quick covers. So we're going to go ahead, take this hammer, and knock all the rust, scale, and debris out of these as we can, and then we're going to blow it out with some high pressure air. All right, so once your rocker panels are completely cleaned out of debris, rust, and dirt, uh, OAM recommends going and using a multi-purpose molly grease and a brush to hit everything that you can reach with it so that it will kind of slow down and try to prevent any further rust from happening. They have a specific brand that they recommend um, and a part number. It wasn't available near us, so I just picked up, like I said, a molly grease. That's important that you get a multi-purpose molly grease. It doesn't have to be the specific part number that they recommend if you can't find it. So we're gonna go ahead, hit both sides here with this brush and this grease, and then we're gonna show you what's next. Once you've got your rocker panels and cab corners coated with that multi-purpose molly grease, you're gonna go ahead and take the Like 90, the corrosion inhibiting uh, spray compound, and you're gonna go and shake it up a bit and then spray all the way in and around the holes in your rockers. So it's gonna go and coat all the places that you couldn't reach with the grease and try to stop that chemical reaction that's begun with the rust. All right guys, it is finally time to get the quick covers put on the truck. We went ahead and we removed the trim and the weather stripping out of each of the doors to expose the pinch weld there uh, off camera. And then we also went and wiped down any surface that this 3M tape is gonna touch with the included alcohol wipes. You wanna make sure you get all that wiped down and any grease or dirt that's there off so that this tape will get a solid bond to the metal. The next thing we did is we went and peeled back about two inches and made a little bit of a tail for us to pull the tape off once this cover is up against the uh, rocker panel on the truck. So we're gonna go ahead and start installing these on the truck. I do have a buddy here that's gonna help me out. Uh, Quick Covers recommends having two people to install these. It is not required, but it's gonna make the job way easier. So the recommended way of doing this is to start with the cab corner side of the rocker panel. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna seat this onto the cab corner and have that front end out about two to three feet. All right, we're gonna start kind of moving the front end in with it just a little bit. So then you gotta be super gentle here in the middle. We're just gonna kind of push some pressure on the inside of this 
and slide it in and over. Careful not to scratch the paint and finish on the rocker panel. So we have loosened the bolt on the front fender, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, just kinda work the, ins the middle of the rocker back out so that we can get enough of a bend to slide the front of this quick cover into the fender. All right, so we're gonna go and make sure that this back corner is pushed down as far and as far back as it can go. That way the door has the proper space to close without scraping on it. So then we're gonna just kind of pull this back just a little bit, and we're gonna peel the tape off of these two horizontal pieces here. And when you do that, you wanna make sure that you hold the corner back until you can set it properly all the way down and into the panel. So once you've done that, you're gonna be able to come and peel back the vertical piece on the back of the cover. Uh, for most of you, you'll still have the box on your truck, so you'll have to reach up and under to grab that tail. So this 3M tape is a uh, pressure sensitive tape, so you're gonna wanna make sure that you go back and press down on all of this a couple times just to make sure everything gets connected and bonded. All right, once you get the quick covers taped up to the top, you're gonna wanna go ahead and reinstall all that weather stripping and the, uh, the trim piece that you took off in preparation to install the covers. You've gotta make sure that you tuck that weather stripping back into that corner really well. Otherwise, it's gonna look like you have a lot of extra once you get to the middle. Go ahead now and begin clamping the bottom of this cover to the inside, uh, the inner rocker panels. So the easiest way to go about this is starting in the middle and working your way to the back. And then we're gonna work our way to the front here. Once you've got your vice grips mounted up and holding the quick cover in place, you're gonna go ahead and start drilling for your rivets. So there's no real specified uh, amount of rivets that you need to install. Uh, OAM recommends doing one every six to eight inches, but it really comes down to how many holes you wanna drill. Got the quick covers on the truck completely installed and I got them wrapped so that they're the same color now as the rest of the truck. And let me tell you, the rocker panels and the cab corners look absolutely phenomenal compared to what they were with all the massive amount of rust that was there before. So if you're like me, you got the rust issue, which a lot of trucks out there do, the rocker panels just don't look good, give quick covers by OEM a shot. They are totally worth all the work that it takes, which isn't a lot. It's a lot less work than cutting out and putting new metal ones in and they make your truck look like it's brand new again. So go ahead, check them out, and hopefully this video is gonna help you install your quick covers.